what's up y'all hanging this jelly bean out of my mouth with a lot of people going into med school with a lot of people considering med school i don't know why i keep eating more jelly beans <laughs> sorry y'all into this i wanted to come on here and talk about a topic that i think is really specific to a small group of people now because we've now experienced it and this topic is virtual medical school how is it how did i enjoy it what are my thoughts on it so this vlog is all about what i think of virtual medical school as a first year medical student who has done a whole semester of virtual medical school <laughs> As y'all know, I finished my first semester of med school, which was completely virtual. I put an asterisk on completely because I would say we went up to school like once every two weeks. A lot of other schools had 100% virtual. I know other schools that had a little bit in person, more than what I had. But from my standpoint, we were almost as virtual as you can get. First off, before we start, I want to say that I know the whole situation, COVID-19, the pandemic, is bigger than all of us. So. Everything I know and I'm saying here is solely based off of the position we're in right now and I do not regret one bit what we're doing and I feel grateful that I'm still able to learn and continue my education while in med school even if it is virtual. So that's one thing I want to say first. But now let's get into the critique. So virtual medical school was a whirlwind I want to say just because it required a lot of um, adjusting. And I say that because everything you're doing is within your living quarters. So it's where you study, it's where you eat, it's where you shower, it's where you watch TV, it's everything. So I think the first biggest thing that ends up being a problem with virtual medical school is being able to compartmentalize your life, you know? And I think it really exposes those who can't balance it all. And even me who prides myself on being a really big time manager really things that it was hard as well to balance not studying all the time. And the only thing that really kept me balanced was working out in basketball. It's really hard to have a good mental health and balance of this is when I should be studying, this is when I should be relaxing, this is when I should be eating because at all times you feel like you really could be studying because there's no separation between where you study and where you, and where you eat and where you relax. So coming into med school, if you are going to be coming in and it's virtual, we don't really know how it's going to work next year. That's something that I would say for sure to, you know, just be prepared for. That you're going to have to have a lot of self-discipline and not in the way of studying all the time. You're going to have to have self-discipline to not studying all the time. Um, it's just so easy to want to study more. You're eating dinner and you could just watch a sketchy video or something. So that's one big thing I would say was really tough when it came to virtual medical school. So now I'm gonna go back and forth between the pros and the not cons, but you know, things that we all had to adjust and struggle with. Um, so the second thing I would say now, it's a pro, is the flexibility. Flexibility, y'all. Capital F on the flex, like seriously. The flexibility I had in my schedule this semester was ridiculous. I wake up early to work out, to train, but if I wanted, I could wake up like that eight nine ten like i could wake up when i wanted to train and then i could go do that and then i could do school and i would just have to stay up longer to you know make sure i got all my schoolwork done but all in all it's really flexible and i really hope honestly one thing that we do when we do transition back to in person eventually because we will get there one day is that we evaluate exactly what is beneficial within you know online school and what of course we need to bring back in person because i think there's so many things that med schools did now that elevated themselves okay there's like a train tracks right next to me so we're gonna wait for them to go away i would say the train tracks are gone kind of just ignore them if you can hear them. There could be so many mandatory sessions that you have to be on, on Zoom, you know, to listen, but you could be grocery shopping and having your AirPods in. Uh, you could be walking your dog outside. And I think that honestly really helped the mental health of a lot of med students during this time. Definitely helped me. I am one that, I don't, I don't wanna call myself a finesser, but 
I'm gonna try to get as many tasks done at the exact same time as possible. So I was multitasking a lot when it came to Zooms. Uh, and it really made my day go by faster. Like if I could crush through some Anki cards while I was listening to something. Honestly, when it comes to online medical school, that was definitely nice to be able to have more flexibility within my day. I know some people who even streamed lectures while they're on the treadmill walking, like it just gave them more time. So flexibility is key. And oh my God, I think more trains came. Okay, the train is officially gone. Where was I? Flexibility. There's so many times that I could attend different Zoom sessions about specialties. Um, that I don't know if I would have been able to attend if I was in person just you know because I could be tired You know, you could want to eat your lunch by yourself, but like I don't know. It was just it was really cool to be able to Do a lot with your time because stuff was completely virtual So that's something that I would say is a positive and I think a lot of people would enjoy if we continue, you know having a lot of things virtual um, That could be virtual, you know and not lose if we don't lose out on the educational benefit of it to keep it virtual um i think a lot of people would like that take all this information with a grain of salt because i just finished my first semester of med school so i don't know anything but virtual medical school so i'm going based off of what other people have told me about in person what i know about in person undergrad um and then my whole experience with virtual medical school the next thing so we just did a pro and another con con of virtual medical school is of course the relationships you know it's hard to uh, really connect with classmates as much as you would if something was in person. But honestly, I felt really selfish if I tried to, you know, mope and whine about that because we're in a pandemic right now. There's so much more going on in the world that, you know, I still know I'll be able to make these interpersonal relationships one day. And even through Zoom, like you just have to make an active effort to get to know your classmates through group messages, through Zoom, like people want to study together on Zoom. Of course, you have the people you live with. So those are some good ways to also, you know, have a really good friend group as well because you live with them. But I realized that meeting your classmates and, you know, it, it's really different this year. And I feel like it's just hard and if you live alone i can see how that can be really tough but i realized that especially already going through the rigor of medical school it can be tough to you know have to operate all live in a pandemic and just be alone like it can be lonely so definitely this year meeting classmates was tough but i go to a great school where everyone was super excited to you know have zoom sessions to do fun activities via zoom facetime group messages uh, so that i did get to meet more people than i actually thought i would meet maybe not in person but i did get to meet them and i felt like i have made some relationships actually which honestly i didn't really see happening except for my roommates that's something that i would say not to be fearful of in the future if med school is continuously virtual just know that you're going to have to put in that extra effort to meet people via zoom or group message you're gonna have to really put yourself out there which ultimately i think is a good thing i think it can um challenge us all you know to meet new people okay another thing virtual med school opposed to popular belief i really enjoyed virtual anatomy i think Dissecting in a lab is like the thing that everybody loves in med school. That's kind of the welcome to med school thing, you know, like that's the experience that everyone shares as a classmate. So I was a little bummed out at first to know that it was going to be virtual, but I honestly was optimistic as well because I just took the anatomy lab in my college. Anatomy is a different breed of memorization, not just memorization, also mechanics when it comes to like the kinematics of the movement of the body and complete anatomy was great complete anatomy was the software we used to learn all the structures in the body and it allowed you to click on the structure know exactly what innervations there are origins insertions you could see it move in 3d and i think it really helped all the structures stick in my head i don't know if i would have had that same thorough education if it was in person and I had to go home and like try to memorize exactly what the cadaver looked like you know so I really did opposed to contrary belief enjoy complete anatomy and enjoy virtual anatomy so if you're worried about that if you're thinking you are gonna miss out on your medical education because 
your school is not going to go back to in-person anatomy. I'm here to tell you that I've done both. I've done cadaver and now I've done in-person. And I honestly think it's stuck in my head more now with the virtual. So that was something that really shocked me. I didn't know that it would go so well, but it really did. I wanted to answer some questions as well that people asked me when it came to virtual medical school. People asked me like all in all, did I like it? And as you can see in my answers here, I do like virtual medical school. I don't know anything other than it but i do feel like i'm learning a lot i feel like you definitely can be fatigued because of how much you're learning because like i told you it's hard to balance both but i did enjoy it i felt like i learned a lot someone asked me how did i work out and like balance that with medical school uh, and i would say with online virtual school i think this is the best time like if you weren't big on working out before and you're about to start online virtual medical school I would really put some type of way to exercise in your schedule like honestly in the beginning of the day because it will really help you throughout the day uh, I feel like you're sitting a lot you're sitting a lot when it comes to virtual med school going through all your zoom lectures studying you are sitting like like a lump on a log you're sitting a lot so I think working out in the morning so like your body starts flowing you know your blood starts pumping to all your extremities before you sit down all day like this it energizes you and at the same time it doesn't feel like you're stagnant all day Even if it's like a 15 minute stretch 15 minute walk on the treadmill before you start your studying i recommend it when it comes to virtual medical school all in all virtual medical school definitely was a hit i don't think it was a miss at all like med schools know what they're doing when they really sat down and tried to figure out exactly how to go about an important year your first year of medical school virtual so trust the school that you go to and know that it will all be fine honestly and at the same time know that you're going to have to put in a little extra effort when it comes to learning how to balance school social life and your own personal health I don't really know what I'm about to do when we go back to in person. It's gonna feel like you're starting med school all over again because it's gonna be all so new. If y'all have any more questions about virtual medical school, virtual interviews, which I didn't do, so I'll try to help you, but eh. Virtual medical school mainly, hit my line because we are all going through this big weird change. So I just wanna give y'all what I thought, my tea on virtual med school. I think it's cool and I think all y'all would really agree with me as well other than the social aspect which still isn't bad so please you know as always like comment and subscribe to my video please like comment and subscribe to my video life with Erica I hear a train coming again so I'm about to duck off before this train ruins the next 20 minutes of my day so y'all have a great day I'm about to just binge watch TV on this break. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Later.